Tell me, King Harold, why have you come here? Why are you still here? What? There's no reason for you to stay here. I made someone a promise. Who? Can't you see her? Who? See who? A girl. Princess. I decided I had to be worthy of her. How could you do that? That was the woman who made me believe I had to be king of all Norway before she would marry me. By making myself king of all Norway, then she would marry me for sure. Right. You told me you would wait and marry me when I become no! No! important. But in the meantime, you marry a nobody. How could you marry that nobody? Maybe she loves him. And if she loves him, then he is somebody. In order to become king of all Norway, you would have to overthrow my husband. I think it is impossible. How can I ever overthrow King Ragnar? He still believes in his dreams, and one day his ships will return to Kattegat full of warriors. My ambition has never changed. I still intend to become king of all Norway. Don't trust me. I have no reason to trust you. You have told me of your ambitions. You will never be like that. And you will never be king of Norway. And you want to know why? It is in the gift of the gods. You know where my heart lies. It lies here with you. You know I want to make this town the capital of Norway. It has always been my dream. If my ambitions come true or not, it's not up to me. That's well you go. This woman is Astrid. She is part of my dream. Do you really know the other was on how this to love a woman? I think so. Then you don't know. It's nothing to do with thinking and it's nothing to do with the heart. It's in the gut, it's in the entrails. Today is an extraordinary and a unique day in the history and saga of our country. Never before have we voted for a king of all Norway. I cast my vote for King Harald. And that also for King Harald. And so it has been fated. And who are we to question the wisdom of the gods? Harald. Fine here. You have been chosen to be the first king of all Norway. I crown you the first king of all Norway. said it was my fate to become king of all Norway, and here I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't want Björn. It was too obvious for them to vote for Björn. They wanted someone representing ordinary people. And that's why they voted for me. Who cares about the sons of Ragnar? You heard that he had a divine right to win, but it's not true. When I finally get him, is when I am truly king of all Norway. I think you bleed like any other man. In times to come, no one will remember Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. They will be utterly forgotten. What did you promise to all of them? I promised each of them what they wanted to hear. This is what our new country is all about! The people! I'm not the champion of the people, I'm the king of the people! Is your brother like you? No. <laughs> it's much worse. <laughs> Why would you fight for Lagifa? Oh, Bjorn. They are not your problem. Bjorn saved my life. Halfdan, you have to choose between a friend or a brother. Are you going to deny your brother? I will kill you. You understand that? I will kill you. 
I killed Hathnam. I killed my brother. Exactly my words. When I was younger, you live. And you learn. I know your reputation and how many battles you have won. But still, you have no idea what you are now facing. We shall destroy those Christian folk. They have seen nothing yet. We are the masters now. Is it not so? Yes! Is it not so? If you're on those lands, you don't have to fight for them. It's not a matter of negotiation. It's always a matter of blood. Except to achieve fame. Feel off. How inside I've gained the world. I've lost everything. I've lost my own brother.